So hello, welcome, and today I want to talk about a very important topic which I see is causing a lot of confusion in many traders' daily trading lives. Um, and I want to talk about Wix. Many traders have a very wrong understanding about what Wix are, how to use Wix, and how to interpret Wix on their charts. This is mainly because general trading education or any trading books uh, they don't really talk about Wix in any other way other than um, that they are rejection formations. You will only see pin bars and those long wicks then show you, oh, uh, the market is ready to jump in the opposite direction of the wick, but this is not true. It is not the whole story and wicks can show or be many different things. Uh, and I just want to give you a few examples of what wicks can be as well and how to use them or how to understand them in different contexts. So let's talk about a few scenarios. Here, for example, the market is at a um, range market here. You can see that very clear. Uh, we put in a, a range top and a range bottom. And then you can see here is a very, very strong wick to the downside. Many traders will say, oh, wow, this is a big rejection. Um, the market is ready to jump and break out to the upside, continue its uptrend here. Not true. Um, or, well, I should say, this is not enough information, at least, to make a trading decision. Um, if you make a trading decision based on one wig alone, you have failed as a trader. This is what I would like always to call surface-level technical analysis, where traders try to find ways or try to justify a trade based on very little information. The, the, the less information, the better. So they just look for one wig. They look for just one moving average crossover, they look for one signal on their stochastic and so on and so forth. And those traders who want to make trading decisions based on just one little thing are using surface level technical analysis, which is not enough if you want to become um, a profitable trader over the long term. Trading is complex. Um, it does not have to be complicated, but you have to understand that there is much more to trading and to reading charts than just looking at one wick or one moving average crossover or one stochastic or whatever, or one price action pattern, whatever it is, and then trying to make a, a living out of that. So instead of looking at this um, wick and saying, okay, this is a rejection to the downside, the market is ready to go higher, why not say that this wick can also show that there were so many buyers, uh, sellers in the market that the sellers were able to push the price as low as this point. During all this range market, the, the sellers were never able to push price uh, that low. So this can also signal in such a context that, okay, there are actually a lot of sellers in the market, but they don't have the complete um, uh, majority yet. So the, there are still some buyers in the market and the buyers were able to push price back into the range, but this can also foreshadow a reversal to the downside or a breakout to the downside, which eventually happened. And then we started this downtrend. So um, the first important point here is that um, look at a wick from the other um, point of view. Don't just see it as rejection, but also don't make a trading decision just based on one piece of information. Um, use more. And um, what I always tell our students, don't, um, yeah, if you see just one wick, then don't try to make it decision wait for at least a few more candles after that to see the whole picture you can see there was a little bit um, of a momentum pause the market just moved sideways and then we followed into the direction of the wick and then the market uh, moved to the downside when we look into the um, into the market uh, or in the, the trend phase afterwards you can see here let me get rid of this let me get rid of this um, arrow you can see here was then a candle or the market sold off and then here was a candle where many traders will panic because oh no the market it putting in a wick to the downside it means rejection to the upside um, and the market is ready to reverse if i'm short here uh, then i need to cover my short and if i'm not short then i should get ready to to buy again um no that is not what this wig is telling you. Um, first of all, it's important to understand a market will or a trend will not just drop in one single line into your take profit. Um, there are ups and downs back and forth. Trend waves and correction waves will alternate um, in a trending market. So um, temporary pauses, even little corrections are normal. Also always try to understand where is a um, 
a pause happening in a trend. You can see that here's a very important resistance zone that turned into support here. And now the market is using that as resistance again on the way down. So a temporary pause uh, makes sense here. And you can see afterwards the market covered the wick here. We came back one more time and then we sold off again. And we see the same thing here. Um, the market breaks out of the lows. You can see here a strong wick to the downside. Where is the wick forming? At a previous very important support level. So again, not a signal to, if you are short, um, to exit your short necessarily. It's not also a signal to get long because the market is putting in here um, a rejection wick if you um, believe this analysis. But it can also show you that, okay, the market dipped in one single very, very big candle into this important zone. Yeah, fair enough. We did not um, close at the lows yet, but there were so many sellers that we drew, um, immediately pushed into the level. And um, always looking at candle size can also help your trading analysis and your technical analysis um, significantly. So you can see here the seller candles, the bearish candles completely dominate the market here. Uh, very small bullish candles only. So that's a very, very important clue as well. So let's talk about maybe one more example and I think then it will become clear and I will highlight the most important points once again. So the market um, put in here a triple bottom or here yeah, multiple um, touches at the bottom. We have here this little range market. Then we break out to the upside and many traders will get immediately scared out of their trades when they see a wick forming because they immediately associate oh the wick here shows that. Uh, there were not enough buyers, um, but just look at the candle here. Very strong candle, very strong breakout candle, and just one consolidation candle. Um, so the first point is that you need to stop um, being so scared about wick scare. Um, wicks are not as scary as many people make them to be. They are completely normal and looking at candle size and also understanding that Okay, maybe the candle um, wick here in this area shows us that the market is really pushing into into the direction of the trade here. Uh, and also understand that is that a logical place where you can expect a, a wick or uh, at least a temporary pause? Yes, you can see that support, resistance, and now it's resistance again. So um, this is quite normal, quite a normal behavior. You can see here then on the way up. Uh, we have multiple wicks here to the downside, to the upside, to the downside, to the upside. And another thing that you can do sometimes um, if you want to get a bigger perspective or you want to have more stress-free trading, just flip to the line graph and um, look at what the price action is telling you here. Um, we can get rid or just leave the, uh, the arrows here, but we can take a look at how is the market moving, higher lows, higher low, higher low higher low. So very important that uh, you can see the market is still pushing higher. We have higher highs, higher high, higher high. Yes, he has a little bit of a consolidation, uh, but we also never break the lows. So you can see that uh, the line graph can give you a lot of um, clarity and can also remove a lot of the stress that you have from just looking at candles. Um, yeah, but you can see that wicks are not as scary as many people make them to be. They don't have to be scary. Here as well, this one probably will have would have scared out most traders here. Huge wick, um, and then maybe traders say, "Oh, this is a pin bar. Let's go short." And if I'm long, I need to exit my um, long trade, and then you miss all of that. It becomes very very frustrating. And again, a pin bar or just one wick alone is not um, yeah reason enough to abandon a trade or to make a trading decision. And also, maybe the wick shows you that there are a lot of buyers in the market they're just not ready yet and it just takes maybe one or two more candles and yeah that's a very very different way of looking at wicks and i really encourage you to question many things that you read on the internet or in trading books and look at things from a different perspective or always ask yourself uh yeah how could i else interpret this situation i see or the general idea uh, this general statistic in trading says that 95 or 99 percent of all traders lose money at the same time all traders follow the same advice and follow the same uh, things that they read online so maybe it's time to think a little bit outside the box think a little bit for yourself approach trading from a different point of view and see where this leads you so that's enough um apply this knowledge apply this um, concept and looking differently at trading charts and i'm sure you will see an improvement as well in how you read the markets